Wow, wide open throttle, floor it. Got 500 horsepower going through the transmission to the differential, bam, down to the ground. Welcome to this Amsoil Tech Tip. Wait a minute, I forgot something. It has to go from the transmission to the differential. How are we gonna get it there? Yeah, we're talking about drive shafts, man. From here all the way down, taking a massive amount of abuse. Lubrication's key once again. Take a look at this right here. You see the U-joint coming out of the transmission. You got your slip joint, then you got the U-joints. Drive shaft back to your rear differential. Here it is in action. Let's just pretend this is the transmission right here. I'm going through to my first U-joint. This is coming out of that yoke or slip yoke. Then I go down to the differential right here, which is my pinion. That's a second drive shaft, and I'm driving this differential. With that comes some problems. Well, what's the problems? Well, they have to be greased and lubricated. You can see the little needle bearings in there, and we'll look at that in a second. A couple things you can do with the drive shaft is you can check it for vibration. You can see here with the dial indicator and check it, make sure that it's all good and not vibrating. Matter of fact, that's what we did right here. Just grab it, go under there, make sure it's safe. Pick up and down on it. You don't want any play in those U-joints at all, front and rear. There's your differential. The other one was the actual yoke up there. Give it a good pull and tug. If you want to make that measurement, it's pretty simple. Just take you some emery cloth or some sandpaper. Take off those major bumps or rust on there so you don't have any deflections on your needle. You're going to have a little bit when you're spinning it around, but not too much. Then just get your dial indicator. Go ahead and start putting it on your drive shaft and spin it around in those three places. If you have some major vibration or problems, it's going to show up on that dial indicator right there. Len, all kinds of issues with drive shafts. You can see it on the screen, leaks, wobbles, all kinds of things going on. But on this here, we even have more of a problem, don't we? Right, and we talk drive shafts, you're talking about grease. You have gotta have grease in these things because of the U-joints and the way that they're transferring the power. There's flex that's going on inside the U-joint with those needle bearings. They require lubrication. Now, this angle, would you use this on your vehicle? Well, I think you might be a little aggressive here. If we put a lot of power through that, it might send it running down the highway. And that's going to cause a problem in heat and things. You can see the needle bearings inside of here. This is actually crazy, these little needle bearings. So that all has to be lubricated. The flex here, this thing's going to be popping up and down. That's going to be a major problem. What does AMSOIL have for this situation? When you get into these situations, you're not looking for a chassis grease. You're not looking for any type of a high molly type grease. You're looking for something that'll handle the high speeds. So we've got some general purpose greases. Our marine grease, our racing grease that's designed for high-speed U-joints. Awesome. Well, you know, today's engines produce a ton of horsepower and torque. Think about all the components that it has to go through to get to the ground. Make sure you're using a quality lubrication by going to amsoil.com.